Hey guys and welcome to my no makeup makeup tutorial. First off I'm filling in my pores with the Benefit Pore Professional Primer and I'm just tapping that into the skin. Then I'll be going in with the Makeup Forever Mattifying Primer all over my forehead because that is where I get the most oily. And I'm also priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion. With both my Maybelline Eraser Concealers in Nude and Light, I'm going to use them both to conceal my dark circles. I'm first putting on the nude shade on the dark areas, then I'll be going over that with the light shade in an upside down triangle shape. I'm going to blend it all out using a damp beauty blender, and with what's left on the beauty blender, I'm going to dab it over my eyelids. For the rest of the face, I'm going to be using my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation in the shade 4.5. At the moment, I only have the sample packet of it, but when I finish it all up, I will be buying the full size foundation and then I will be doing a review. So far, I can tell you though that I absolutely love this foundation. This one packet has lasted me four faces and I still have some left, so yeah, a little goes a really long way. Don't bother fully concealing your acne scars or hyperpigmentation because this is a no makeup makeup look and no one is naturally that flawless. I'll be setting my under eyes with the Ben Nye Cameo Powder. To set the rest of the face, I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Smooth Operator Tinted Pressed Powder in the shade Light. Whew, that was a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> I'll be using two products for my brows and the first one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Perfect Brow Pencil in Granite. With the spoolie end, I'm just brushing out my brows before going in with the pencil side. You want to fill in the brows with short, light strokes so it doesn't look too heavy. Once you have filled it in and have gotten the general shape you like, you just want to go back in with a spoolie brush to blend everything out.
With the Makeup Revolution Arch and Shape, I'm going to use the felt tip pen side to fill in my brows a little bit more. To keep the lashes natural, I'm just going to curl them and apply a clear mascara. My lashes are pretty pitiful, so I'm going to make them look a lot fuller by tight lining the upper lash line with a brown pencil. To make my eyes look even more awake and fresh, I'm going to use the Rimmel Scandalize in Nude to line the lower waterline. I then decided to go back in with the brown liner to line the centre of the lower lash line. This will give the effect of having rounder eyes. The same clear mascara from earlier, I'm going to use it to set my brows in place. With the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer, I'm going to use this lightly on the areas where the sun would naturally reach my face. I'm applying this very lightly so I'm only really using the tip of the brush in circular motions to apply it. I'm also going to be using this to contour down the sides of my nose so the centre of my face doesn't look so flat. I will also lightly be adding this to the crease of my eyes to add a little depth. Then with the blush from the same palette, it's called Posh, I will be adding this to the cheeks so I don't look so ghostly. Once again, I'm applying this very lightly using only the tip of the brush. For no makeup makeup looks, you want to use a light hand for everything so everything can look as natural as can be.
And again from the same palette I'm going to be using the highlighter called Pink Champagne to highlight the top of the cheekbones, the bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow, the inner corner of the eyes and the brow bone. For the lips, I'm going to be using a light pink tint balm and I'm going to be applying this just to the centre of the lips. For the final step, I'm just applying a facial mist all over the face to get rid of any powderiness. And before it fully dries, I'm just going to go over it with the Beauty Blender. I find that mists really get rid of any cakiness and helps your skin to look as natural as can be. And that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Don't forget to check out my links in the description and to like and subscribe well. Obviously, if you want to, I'm not forcing you to do so, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!